Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert HBAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mala, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can change the firmware of the controller using the USB stick. So let's go to the presentation. So in order to use the USB stick, it's only for not the complete range of the controllers. It's going to be only for the M172 performance because the Optimize doesn't have the USB uh, port. And this one uh, requires a different kind of USB, okay? So uh, only for performance. So once we are on the software, we have like a different uh, path where we can find the software, okay? So if we go to C, Program 5, Schneider Electric, the name of the software, catalog, free advance, okay, free advance, then we can find the firmware 596 and the firmware 668. This one is for the bigger one and this one for the smaller one. If we just don't know which one it is, because it's normal, it's possible to remember all the numbers, we can go directly to the commissioning, select BIOS download, here and browse, we just go directly to the file or to the path where the different firmware that we have in the laptop are located. Okay, so in this case, I'm working with the uh, 14 PLC. So if I open this, it will open the firmware C68. So if I show you this, if we open to the application, commissioning, save this, uh, bias and load here, browse, and you choose go to the folder. We go back, we should be able to see the different folders. And this one is for the bigger one. Okay, so this is one way to do it. So, what I'm going to do is to just copy this. Okay, first let's check which is the PLC firmware that I have. So, I'm going to check it. This first, to check it, we just put the power supply back again. And we should be able to see it when it boots up. I was able to see it. I don't know. Uh, short six six eight thirteen. Okay. Okay. I need to put this a little bit more in there, but um, let's do this. Let's connect via Ethernet to the controller, just to show you which is the. Mm. Uh, let me just connect the internet port. So as you can see, the thing works is six three. <coughs> this is the one that appears on the on the display in my case, but I believe for how I put the camera you weren't able to see it. So, uh, in this particular case, I'm going to downgrade the firmware. So, what I need to do is to bias and load, browse. I'm going to copy the 12, copy. Okay, and then I'm going to paste it on the, in the USB that I have. Let me just put the USB here and paste it okay we just need to paste it here so if we go back to the presentation we copy and paste the thing one that we want then this is the procedure so put the usb format as fat 39 right click format and file 32 and it's going to be deleted. Okay. Uh, let me open those two times. And it's going to be formatted in the format that you require. Now, copy the bin file and put it on the USB. Uh, we have already done this part. Now, 
we just remove the USB from the laptop. Remove. Now what we need to do is to remove the power supply from the PLC and put the USB. Okay. Once that is started, we just start during the process, you will see the yellow LED. So it means that it's changing information. And then when it's solid, it means that the firmware is complete. Okay. And once uh, the LED is green, we just remove it. So to sum up all this, once you have the file over here, we just need to wait for the LED to be finished. Okay. When it's flashing, finish. So this would be the idea. So if you go to the PLC, I need to remove the power supply. Power supply is removed. You can see there is no LED. I need to put the USB here. Now I need to put back. You can see here it's starting. Let's see there. It was reading something doing something okay so we start with this LED I uh, should be flashing Now when it's solid, maybe you can kind of see it, but it's flashing. Now it's solid. Now it is solid, we just remove this. So we will start and we should be able to see over here they have the 12, the version 12. So as you can see that you have the watchdog timer zero. Don't pay attention to that. Don't worry at all uh so if we go back now okay <laughs> check the bank here open this we connect you can see that in the project i had the version uh 13 and the PLC had the 12 because I had downgraded. Now I have this message. Okay, yes, it's different. Da, da, da. I need to do all the stuff. And then here you can see they had version 12. Okay, so I have downgraded this. So this is how you can change the firmware of the controller. Let me just put this again on the here. So let's perform this downgrade or upgrade in my case it was downgrade but the upgrade is going to be the same um uh, optional we don't have a uh, we can connect with the software to check the vs version before and after this is what we have done um doo -doo -doo. yeah this is what we have done in order to check the version of the firmware but basically this is the process okay those steps remember to file 32 try the usb stick i don't remember if there's a limitation of the size uh i believe that would be on the um, hardware manual equipment but in my case i'm using one of eight gigas i usually don't use nothing more than 16 or 32 gigas then we just need to put the usb but it's important that the plc is power off usb inside and then just wait for all the leds to be turned on as here Okay, then just remove it, and then you should be able to see the new thing while in there. Okay, so um, this is how we can change the firmware of the M1 32 performance using a USB stick. So, thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one.